and it is my promise to everyone here, when I am president, we will continue our fight for working families of America. Including to raise the minimum wage and eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. where we build a broad-based economy where every American has an opportunity to own a home, to start a business, and to build wealth. We believe in a future where we lower the cost of living for America's families so they have a chance not just to get by, but to get ahead, to get ahead. Because look, while our economy is doing well by many measures, prices for everyday things like groceries are still too high. You know it and I know it. When I was Attorney General, I went after price fixing schemes. And when I am President, I will continue that work to bring down prices. I will take on big corporations that engage in illegal price gouging, corporate landlords that unfairly raise rents on working families, and, and take on big pharma and cap the cost of prescription drugs for all Americans. Trump has a different plan. Just look at his Project 2025 agenda. Which I keep saying, I can't believe they put that in writing. And so if he is elected, Donald Trump intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. He intends to cut Social Security and Medicare. And he intends to surrender our fight against the climate crisis. And I don't need to tell Nevada every day, because you feel the impact of extreme heat and drought. You know the climate crisis is real. But Donald Trump, well, he claims it's a hoax. And on top of this, if Donald Trump were to win in November, he won't. But if he were to win in November, he intends to end the Affordable Care Act. Think about that. To take us back to a time when insurance companies had the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions? You remember what that was like? Children with asthma, breast cancer survivors, grandparents with diabetes. Look, America has tried these failed policies before, and we are not going back. We are not going back. Stakes are even higher. And that's because last month, the Supreme Court of the United States basically told the former president that going forward, he will effectively be immune no matter what he does in the White House. But, but think about what that means. Think about what that means. So Donald Trump has vowed to be a dictator on day one if reelected. He said he will weaponize, essentially, the Department of Justice against his political enemies. And even called 
for the, quote, termination of the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> Let us be very clear. Someone who suggests we should terminate the Constitution of the United States should never again stand behind the seal of President of the United States.